What's up, boys and girls? Welcome back to Expression Culture here with me, Gareth Honda Guru. Uh, Alex again. It's actually the same day, hence why we're sending the same clothes. We're just trying to make more content for you, lovely boys and girls out there. So, in this uh, part of the video, or the new video, uh, we're going to do the. Um, I don't think there's actually. A, is there a name for this mod? There isn't really, is there? We're making the uh, factory footwell lighting on the Honda CRZ brighter. Now, they basically come with a filter over them, I'm not sure why, um, and they're quite dim. Uh, most people don't even notice they have them. Uh, obviously, you can only see these really at night once the lights are on. Uh, the head, when I say lights, I mean like the headlights. Um, but yeah, basically, you drill a hole through that, uh, that filter. That allows the light to pass through it, and in turn makes them brighter. So, I'm going to show you the process on one of them, and then I'll show you sort of how to get to the rest of them, and then, hmm, how am I going to show you the results? Hopefully I'll get Alex to do some filming in the evening when he goes home and send me that file over, and then I can hopefully get it to work nicely in this film. Make sure you, you send it in uh, landscape. Is it? The amount of people I ask them to film something for me so I can add it into a video and they film it horizontally. Um, and it looks shite. Is it horizontally? Up straight so the screen's like, you know, more vertical. I don't fucking know. Portrait, is that it? He knows what he's on about. At least he knows what I was on about anyway. <laughs> Hope you all know what I'm on about because sometimes I talk a bit too much, too much shit. <laughs> I sound a little bit bunged up. I've been sneezing for the last 10 minutes, I think. Um, I don't generally get hay fever, but today I think the, the pollen levels might be a bit high. Because I was just had it, like I said, I had a 10 minute, like, sort of fit of sneezing. And I sound a bit, <laughs> a bit of <fonce. laughs> So, yeah, let's crack on. And, uh, so, oh, my eyes look even a bit puffy. Might be time for a monster. Yeah, let's get a monster, man. Oh, I'm gonna <laughs> go for a pipeline on this one. Whoa! Ah. <clears throat> nice and fresh. Ooh. I forget what flavour this is. Orange, apple, guava, pineapple, and passion fruit. Mmm, lovely. Okay, boys and girls, so the easiest one to do is the passenger footwell. I think it's just a pull down one, this one. Yeah. So just lift from the corner, pop that down, and you can see there that's your footwell light. Now, what you want to do is just disconnect that wiring harness from here, that just pops out. These ones twist, so disconnect your wire probably first. There we go. So we're now take that out. I'm fairly sure it's just a case of twisting these out. Yep, anti clockwise. That's it, all it is there. You then take that filter off, which just clips in. That's your LED. Shut that off with that. You're done. You've got another one there. I'll just show you how to get to it in a minute. And you've got another one in the kick panel. Right. Let's do this right, one. So I'm going to do that again. Show you up close. Here is one of the footwell lights. This is the one on the passenger side. You can see uh, all they are is they clip in. It's a little filler. Pop it off each side. And that then comes off. And all you do is you drill a hole through the center of this. So as you, as you can see, it's slightly transparent, this material, but that's the filter. You then have the LED here. And then uh, all you gotta do is then, like I said, drill a hole through this. That LED light can then pass through this and it becomes brighter. So this is a little step drill. And all you wanna do, is a drill a hole. <laughs> a bit of a vice or something. 
So there I've gone up to an 8mm hole, which is a uh, that's enough to let the the light pass through it, which I'll show you now. So there's your LED light. Just clip it back in. Yeah, it's slightly off center, but oh well, that'll work perfectly fine. That light, LED light can now pass through there and that will make it considerably brighter. So we're gonna put that one back in the car. I'm not gonna show you that again because it's just a reverse of what we did. Um, and then we'll move on to the footwell light on the, on the driver's side kick panel. And then the center one, which goes sort of above the kick, uh, kick holders, cup holders. Right, let's go. All right, this one's gonna be harder for you to see. So we're gonna have to move his mat. So twist off the little retaining plugs. So pull the little rubber trim away. Yeah. You just want to loosen that. Pop off again at the bottom. Pulls away at the top. And then we drop this kick panel. There we go. Pull this forward just a little bit. And again, it's just a push clip on the wiring harness. That's up. And again, just another twist to release. Ta -da, that was more central that one as well. Right, put that one back in the car. Starting the one in the centre. And prying away from each side, particularly here, because they're prone to cracking. That'll just pop off. Two Phillips screws here. Pull that down. Just off those little pegs. That should give you access here. That's the last one there. Disconnect the wiring harness. Oh, get a pig. And there's the last one. <laughs> there we go. Right, last one. This is the one that takes my fingers off. There we go. And back in the housing. Another LED. Let's get it back in the car. Oh, fuck me, I look really bright in this sun. There's Alex. Yeah. Right, okay, so that's a very, very quick video. God, this lighting is not great. That's better. We'll do it from here so you can see Alex as well. So yeah, that's a little quick video on how to improve the battery footwell lighting on the Honda CRZ. Um, what do you think, Alex? Yeah, it's actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. And <laughs> hopefully once I get to test it tonight, then yeah, the results should be good. Yeah, so Alex is gonna take a little video clip later on once it's home and once it's dark. And then uh, we'll, uh, add that into the video but great to have Alex here again obviously like I said earlier this is actually a, a two-part video that we've done in one day hence why we're both in the same clothes uh, and both equally as hot and sweaty thank you to all the sponsors check them out in the intro and outro check out the discount codes I've got for you in the description and uh, what else can we say about that um, yeah have you enjoyed yourself mate yeah, it's been a great day. Another blindingly hot day, probably sunburnt again, but yeah. yeah last, last time you came down here, we both got blisteringly sunburnt. I actually had less hair last time as well, so uh, I got very sunburnt, and that's why I actually haven't shaved my head since, because I was quite fearful of uh, aggravating the scalp even more. But yes, yeah, so it does look like we've probably both got a bit sunburnt again. Um, is what it is, we're both a bit pale. <laughs> both pale both got crz's hopefully one of our uh well one of my friends at least i think uh, have you met sam uh no no you weren't at the the one at our second santa pod event this year were you? hopefully you'll you'll come to the next one i don't know hopefully sam will come to that as well hopefully he'll be in um another car 
won't be any Civic anymore, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, that will be a video if he does get it, anyway. So you'll have to look forward to that one. You can hopefully look forward to more CRZ content. Um, when, I don't know. I don't know what we've got planned. Have we got any more videos planned? Mm, potentially wind deflectors. Yeah. In the comments, add that. Should he put on the Honda Access uh, JDM? I think they're JDM, aren't they? They are. Because yeah. you have to get them from Japan, yeah. uh, Honda Japan. Yeah, so the Honda Access JDM door visors, wind deflectors, as some people in this country seem to call them. They're actually called door visors, but there you go. Not the uh, typical um, shite you get from, uh, I've forgotten what they're called now. The Team Heco. One. Team Heco, Polish crap. Now that's not me being racist. The Polish are very hard workers. Uh, just the products they create are crap. Um, no, they're, don't get me wrong, they're very popular, they're very cheap. Um, the only, the biggest problem with them, with them is obviously they go in the door channel. Uh, so they're being forced uh, against the glass itself uh, which will only inevitably inevitably I can't even get that word out you know what I mean but eventually that will cause wear on the window regulator and motor if it's, it's not meant to be there at the end of the day these ones go on the outside uh, and th that's how they're designed I've got genuine Honda ones on my CRZ and they look fantastic as you can see there uh, Alex has them um, he just hasn't fitted them and I'm trying to convince him to put them on his car because I think it would look fantastic I think he does but he's just trying to be a bit of a gimp <laughs> you don't have to try too hard <laughs> but yeah I've got uh, Mugen ones on my CRZ uh, on my CRZ on my Jazz um, but that uh, they fit exactly the same as the, the Honda ones they've just got that really sort of aggressive style Some Honda knockoff ones on the uh, on our Civic because they Honda don't make any for that generation of Civic being a European only model but yes anyway boys and girls I hope you enjoyed that, this little video I know that's quite a popular mod and people do ask on the forums how to do it so there you go that's another little video for you to help you out and uh, I hope to see you all very soon have a lovely day bye 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 folks